All right, so what I need you all to do now is I need you to open up your browsers and I need you to go to GitHub. And I need you to, if you don't yet, I need you to create a GitHub repository. Uh, I mean, a GitHub, I need you to create a GitHub um, account if you don't have one yet. Furthermore, what I need you to do is I need you to also, once you have uh, done that, I need you to go to Free Code Camp and I need you to create an account there as well. And um, like I said, I don't know exactly where you're at on your journey quite yet. So um, you might already have an account. You might already have a GitHub account. Uh, you might have already claimed the free uh, the certificate for responsive design. <clears throat> um, uh, if you're doing the JavaScript uh, part. And uh, so basically right now, what you all are, you are all dragons, okay? And the OSD stands for open source dragons. So you, you are all open source dragons right now. Yay. <laughs> Hands in the air. <laughs> we can do it. That's Yay. right. Yeah, that's right. That's what I like to hear. Here we go. That's what I like to hear right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all motivating me. <laughs> Just to let you know, guys, that like I can't speak properly because I got some problems in my mouth or so some words I can't pronounce it like properly in English. So if you don't understand, you can understand so. what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, I do. I do understand you perfectly. It's just me that mm, when I speak, that's okay. Like, some words I can't. No, no, you them fine. properly. Yeah, your 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 English isn't that bad. It's fine, dude. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you speak English pretty well. Uh, I've heard words, dude. It doesn't even sound bad. I've had college professors that <laughs> speak English worse than you, so I think you're fine. Thank <laughs> you. Um, so uh, just to make sure, has uh, does everybody here have a GitHub account? If you yeah, I got one already. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to create a new organization just for you guys. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be Open Source Dragons uh, February. Right. I missed the January. Damn. It's okay, dude. Don't worry about it. You're here now, and that's all that matters, bro. There's no looking back. <laughs> and uh the reason i named it osd is because you know some employers might be like oh you're a dragon eh <laughs> or at least that's what i thought you know everybody actually actually ended up loving it um but you know osd if you want to tell them you can be like yeah i was a part of an organization it's called open source development <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to be adding you all to this organization. February. So today and tomorrow we're going to do like the GitHub part only, right? Uh, yes, sir. Today and tomorrow is for everybody um, to learn Git and GitHub and the command line, yes. And it's, you know, it shouldn't even really take that long, but it's really just gonna take that long because people, um, for the people who aren't here, you know, there's gonna, there's, there's gonna be people who are, gonna, you know, they're not gonna- Yeah, that knows more or less, but yeah. No, not that knows more or less, because you guys are pretty much all gonna learn everything that you need to know today. But the thing is, there's gonna be people that are not here, um, that just aren't going to be here like 
they're like, I, I want to make sure that everybody that that really wants to be here and uh, is here and, and, and can um can benefit. So it's like for the people that weren't that didn't see my messages on time, because you know there's there's people from literally every country. I'm not gonna say literally, but kind of like every country in the world. We have, yeah. You know, we have people from uh from India, Europe, uh, uh, Russia, uh, everywhere in between over there. You guys are all from over there, out there. Uh, we have people from America, a um, ton of people from America. And, you know, we're in different time zones. So the reason that, um, uh, the reason, the reason that I'm doing it like this is because, you know, I totally understand what it's like to not check your email today. <laughs> understand and i don't want to leave some people that's why i'm recording i don't want to leave some people behind who are gonna stay committed but um they just didn't they just didn't make it on time um i noticed in the chat some people said um hey i didn't uh i did not see i, I didn't know if i missed it already right so i'm sure there's other people that right now that are sleeping that you know that are missing it but they'll be here like we have people that literally woke up at seven o'clock, three o'clock in the morning and started coding with us because my time at six would be three o'clock or five o'clock in the morning for them. Uh, you know, so it's like, that's the one thing I don't want to do is exclude anybody that is serious about um, learning. Uh, let, me, uh, let me do this. Uh, oh, there we go. It's, it's almost my billing email. That's why it's not letting me. There we go. Okay. And um, if you would uh, add your emails, uh, your usernames for GitHub to the chat. Um, and I'm going to make you uh, members of the organization. Make sure it's the uh, exact username. Please, no spaces, no anything that's not there. And make sure it's spelled exactly as is. And also, what I need you to do um, is, I want you to um, download, uh, we're, we're gonna go uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys how to, um, download uh, Ubuntu um, and uh, the WSL, which is uh, the Windows um, uh, subsystem for Linux. Um, and, uh, also, I want you to download uh, VS Code. Um, yeah. Are we gonna have any um uh, set up for the visual code setup. um like any specific setup like for the group or not uh, uh well yeah i'm uh you guys are gonna be uh i'm gonna show you how to set up uh the subset uh the windows if you are on windows i'm gonna show you how to set up the subsystem for linux but if you have a mac or you have a linux you are already set But um, if like honestly, it really doesn't. It's not a big deal at the moment because um, it's not a big deal at the moment because um, uh, you know, it's it's just a text editor and it's just Git. Other than that, like you can you like so for now. In the meantime, just download uh, VS Code. And your command line should already be set up, and uh, it should work, uh, it should be working fine. And if it's not, um, just let me know, and I'll show you how to set it up properly, if it, or how to configure it properly if the, the configurations uh, messed up a bit. But also, so download VS Code and download Git. 
And to download Git, you're going to go to s, uh, git uh, scmcom and uh, click on this, whatever it says right there for you. If you're on Windows, it's going to say download the most current uh, Windows version. If you're on Mac, it's going to say download the Mac version. And here is, so you go to VS Code, do the same thing for, uh, for here. If you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux, same thing. So I'm just going to say the same thing now. So let's say 21 to 50. That sounds, we have about 60 net. We have 83 people that signed up. So uh, all right. Hey, what's up, John? I'm back, man. Hey, let me ask you something. Did you ever go through coding phases? Did you ever go through coding phases? Um, that the, the terminal for beginners? I think I did, but it's been a while. Um, but um, did you set up your system exactly how you set it up, like with the Windows subsystem for Linux? No, I have a Mac, so I just didn't right, bother yeah. with all that. Okay, yeah, so you're, you're fine. Yeah, I don't know. That Linux stuff, like, man, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a big deal anyway. It really wasn't. Yeah. Um. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm starting a new organization. Um. And uh, I'm just adding everybody to the organization. Yeah. I would say uh, definitely like if you're on this call. Everything that John's doing, I would say join him and, and do it along with him. And uh, if you're at any point you're getting stuck, the the beauty of Zoom is that we can share screens with you. So whatever you're struggling with, um, he can like step by step walk you through anything. So don't be afraid to like speak up, raise your hand in the participants. Um, you know, just um, we're like we're here to help you like. Pat, John, or I, like, if you have questions, be, you know, be willing to speak up. Like, this is not a, uh, you know, like, we won't shame you or, like, make you feel bad. So just feel free to open up and just reach out to us. That's what it's about. That's why we're all here. We're all here to help each other. And uh, I was telling them earlier about how, remember, uh, would you explain to them what happened last month? Like, remember in the beginning of the month? How, like, I, I love how I set it up where I told everybody, like, yo, listen, if I don't show up, dude, like, just keep on going without me. It's not a joke. It's really not a joke. Because, like, if anything happens to me, I don't want you to stop learning. And that's the beauty. That's why I love last month's learning group, because you <laughs> seriously took the initiative. And it just wasn't, it, you guys, it wasn't a joke. You guys didn't waste time. You guys weren't like, oh, um. Uh, He's not here. I don't have to be here. I'm not doing this. And then not learn. No, you guys literally took the initiative. And without me, you did what I told you to do. You guys went through the curriculum and you guys literally just stuck it out. And I think that was just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I would just say, uh, just echo what he's saying. But, I mean, we just had a core group of guys. It was me, Pat, Tamari, Manny, and John. And we just stuck through it. Um, and even Belma went through, like, most of CSS with us. Um, but, you know, if you're here, you know, reach out to the people that are here. And, you know, just look at these people. It's like, hey, like. It's a single one. Sorry. These are my new friends. Like, you know, we're working together and um you know like if i if i'm not showing up
um, I don't know, you just got to approach it like, hey, like I bring something valuable to the group. And if I'm not showing up, then uh, everybody's missing out on what, what value I have to bring to the group. Um, so um, I, don't know, I just encourage you because this is all for you. Like for you to learn, it, it's going to take the time, you know, so just uh, dig in. And if you need to like, you know, make arrangements for you to have this, this space free, you know, for you to code, I would say do it because um, you know, you, you don't get these kind of like special opportunities that come around that often. But uh, I mean, hopefully we can make this more of a thing. But um, if you're on this call, then you know, like you're in a really great place to learn. That's all I would have to say. But maybe Pat has something to add on that too. Yeah, yeah man, I've been here. Pat, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> I talked to you in a few days, man. I just been listening, man. I've been lurking. Good to see you here, man. Thank you. Hey, you guys, add your uh, your emails here too. I'm gonna add you guys to the repo too. I mean, your uh, your usernames here too. I'm gonna add you guys as well. All right. Um, Elliot, you too, man. Please. Um, but uh, yo, so Elliot, remember? Uh, I remember you told me that. Yeah. Remember you said that last month that you had got accepted to the Lambda. And you, I remember you said on Twitter, and uh, Mr. Larson had actually commented on it, and he said do both. He said do this because you had asked me if I should, if you should do just uh, this, or if you should also go to Lambda and do the Lambda as well, or just do the Lambda. And uh, I said, you know, just pick whichever one, uh, you know, maybe just pick one or the other. But he came on and he said do both. So, how do you think? Uh, what, do you, what do you what do you think on that topic? Oh, uh, like whether or not to do a, a boot camp like Lambda School and Free Code Camp. Yeah, or or just to like do one or the other, or like to do them both. Like, what, like I what mean, would... I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do, but I just know that with the time that I've put into Free Code Camp and the networking I've done on social media and just the confidence that I've gained just from free code camp and free resources. Um, at this stage, I'm putting off uh, boot camp like Lambda School um, as like a last resort. Like if I don't get hired, um, then I would consider doing something like Lambda School. But if I can get hired and they train me to be full stack in JavaScript and a, a framework like React or something like that, then in my mind, they're paying me to learn, and I don't, I don't necessarily need to go to a boot camp. I can just learn on the job. So that's kind of my whole goal right now is just learn enough JavaScript to be dangerous and just um, be personable and use my soft skills to get a job. And then from there, um, you know, just, just take things from there. But that's kind of my goal right now. And um, it's been working. I mean, I've, I've been uh, just networking and just continuing to learn JavaScript. And you know, I'm just really hopeful that I could get a job at this point. But does that answer your question, John? Uh, yeah, dude, you, yeah, man, you've been saying that since the beginning, too. Just learning enough to be dangerous, man. You've been saying that from day one, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of what, um, self-taught, uh, developers on Twitter and YouTube, um, I mean, I'm thinking, like, of, uh, Joe Santos Garcia, um, uh, Taylor, um, I forget her last name, I think her name's Skyler, um, Chris Sean, I mean, there's a whole like line string of people uh, that are on social media and YouTube, and they're all self-taught. Like none of them, some of them don't even have CS degrees or any any degree period, and all they did was just focus on learning on the internet uh, with like Udemy and Free Code Camp, and and now they're full stack web developers um, in all different forms. So it can be done. It just 
you know, it takes being committed to like a group like this. And yo, Pat, all you can. Pat, Pat Elliot, are you at your computer? I'm not. Um, I'm okay. commuting on my way from work, but um, okay. Yeah, may, I mean, maybe Pat has something to say on, in that in that regard. Yeah, we just uh, we pretty much just stuck with it last month. Um, made sure that like everybody that was in the group understood um, all the processes, and uh, like Elliot stated before, don't be afraid to to ask questions if you got them. Um, we're all here to help each other. Um, if somebody is having trouble with a, with a syntax or a problem that may seem easy to you, uh, just, just go along and help them. Um, certain, uh, certain things people can't grasp as easy as other things. Um, and that's what makes learning in a group so great is because you have all these different perspectives looking at the same thing. And, uh, perhaps somebody in the group can explain it better than, the uh, tutorial or video or free code camp kit. So, so yeah. Um, hey, uh, Pat, would you do me a favor, please, dude? What you need? Um, like, uh, I'm gonna show you the, uh, while everybody's like onboarding and, and accepting their emails into, I'm gonna pause the recording too. Uh, 